is this original OG Baby Bullshad from Mike Buka better than the new Weedless Baby Bullshad? That's what we're going to find out right now in this versus mano y mano. Find out which one is better, which one has the better action, which one looks better, which one has the best components. Then you tell me in the comments below which one you're going to buy because they're both priced the same. OG versus Weedless right now versus Mike Buka has made some of the best giant bass catching baits. His bull shad is recognized as one of the best swim baits on the market. Several years ago, he partnered with Catchco to make a smaller, more affordable swim bait that works. It swims exceptional, and in my opinion, it's just amazing. Superlatives do not do it justice. Breaking in here, if you've watched this far, do me a favor, click that subscribe button and that like button. It really does help me. I have a goal I'm trying to reach here in 2023, and you being a subscriber is one of those things. If you hit that subscri subscribe button, thank you. Welcome to the family. And if you haven't, click it, please. I really do appreciate it. And stick to the end of this video and watch and compare the action of both. The Baby Bull Shad is a hard plastic, multi-jointed swim bait. It has paintbrush bristles as a tail. It has two super sharp treble hooks, and one of its amazing attributes is that it's crazy simple to use. At slow, medium, or burning it in, the baby bull shad swims properly. And by this I mean it's not on its side. It can be used in the upper, middle, and deep water columns. The baby bull shad casts really good and true, and the lure is three and three quarter inches in length and weighs one half ounce. It's a slow sinking lure that comes in seven colors and priced at $14.99 each. The Weedless Baby Bull Shad came out this year and I was one of the most exciting anglers out there wanting this lure. It's a soft plastic mesh jointed bait. They come two pieces per pack with one pre-rigged and one spare body. The EWG hook can be hidden inside the body to make it weedless. It also offers a lifelike profile, paintbrush bristle tail, and realistic swimming action. It's meant to be fish on heavy braided line. They are four and a half inches in length, weigh three fourths of an ounce, and have six great colors. They are also $14.99 for one pre-rigged and one spare weedless bullshad. So the OG has great components. It has 3D eyes, realistic paint, great hooks that don't need to be changed. They're super sharp and sticky, and that bristle tail is exceptional. The new Weedless has an EWG hook that is can be put into the plastic that, that is also weighted. It has a mesh inside the the joints, so it is durable. You're not gonna break these things off real easily. Good eyes, uh, 3D eyes, again, that bristle tail is exceptional, and it has a weighted EWG hook. All of them, both of them have great components. They're both very well built, and that's very positive for both. Looking at both in terms of the paint or the angler catching stuff, this is the weedless and this really is it's very it's got the great profile the right shape and it's got some gr seven great colors that it's available available in whereas the og also has several different colors and very realistic you can't really beat either one this one has a little bit of flash to it and looks this is 3d printed or not 3d printed but printed on and is a lot different than the original. I prefer the original, to be honest. And last but not least, let's compare the swim action versus each other. Now, if I have to keep it real, the OG one is the lure I'm gonna buy. It's the lure I own the most of. I found that the action on the new weedless one just isn't there. And while I want the weedless one to work even more than any lure I've ever used, the action just doesn't show up. And honestly, catching fish on the weedless one is really tough. You must use braided line. I know you're asking why. Braided line doesn't stretch like mono or fluoro. So when you set the hook with braided line, it exposes the hook faster and better. Because many times when you set the hook with fluoro or mono with this lure, the hook doesn't expose. 
And let's keep it real. If I'm getting a bite and the hook doesn't expose, why am I fishing the lure? Hmm. So there you have it. The OG versus the weedless. I'll be honest. I really wanted this one to win. This I wanted this one to be the, my favorite. But there's just too many things that just I don't like about it. I don't think it has the right action. I don't like that you have to use braid to, to make it work. It was just me. Which one is better, the OG or the weedless? If someone gave you $15 at Tackle Warehouse, which one would you buy? Which one would you spend your money on? That's what I want to know in the comments below. So type it out. Tell me what you think. Take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. Thank you. And I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.